How do you make much day, Boko Watch Eighty Days? Who everyone out there in YouTube land? A little bit of a throwback. Audio check. All right. Yeah, that could be louder. Let's make that a little bit louder. <laughs> I'm sure you heard the first part, so I'm not worried about that too much. Um, this is a different video. A little bit of a throwback. I'm gonna do a how-to. So, <clears throat> real simple. This is about telephones. Now, what I have, I have a grand stream. That cord's too short to pull over here, and I'm not moving all the cameras. But what I have is a grand stream set up. I have my own dial tone. It's a POTS line virtually. It comes right out of the FXS port, so it's virtually a uh, POTS line. So, we're going to start real simple. So you have a fluke set. I have a, I have a well you don't, but I do. I have a fluke toner set. This is not the best light in the known universe, is it? Go go go. Maybe that helps. I can see stuff. That works. Okay. Well, I mean, I can see it. Fluke toner set. It comes with a wand. You have you have attachments. It's awesome. I would have one. I've had one for 20 years, one version or another. This is a Pro 3000. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> this is one of my most useful tools. See if we can get anywhere in there. Because it's not a fluke. Hold on. Let's see if we can get a little more light on the issue. Uh, oh, that is really bright. <clears throat> this is a green lay. I can I can read that part. Uh, let's see, because I'm trying to find light. That is horrible light. Maybe you can zoom in. I'll I'll take specific pictures and post them in the. Uh, comments if anyone needs them <clears throat> so in case because I can't see it really well but this is a network slash telephone mm, tester I would say more than anything this side says this side for plugging in says wall and this side is of course out uh, this is, I think, six pin. This isn't a full, full network tester, right? Well, either way, we're not talking about networks. We're talking about telephones. Um, we'll go to networks at another time. So the first thing I want to say is this. Right here. This guy. This is a four pin. It's on the end of any of your, well, not any. Let me rephrase the any part. It's the it, on the end of your toner if you've got a decent one. <laughs> All right, so you have two settings. Tone and continuity. I guess it's continuity. I'm not an engineer. I just make this stuff up as I go. Now, in continuity, if you have a short this is why we're talking about this because it's for analog pots telephones. If you have a short, you're going to get a red light. It's going to light up. If you want a tone, you can do it in continuity. It's not a great thing to do. That's going to make a tone. Yeah, I'll grab uh, I'll grab that since this is not a live video. I can actually edit this fucker later. I just have to figure that out.
Okay, well, for all intents and purposes, one thing that I could not find was um, a actual wall plate. I'll have to order some more of those. I need those. Anyway, back to the toner part. Turn on your toner. You want it flashing. Flashing means it's sending a pulse. You can adjust the volume there. Uh, you also have, if it's a noisy environment, you have a light. Oh, you couldn't. Okay. We'll turn that to hello. Uh, if these touch, you get a different tone. Oh, yeah, make a liar out of me. See, the, the tone changes. Well, I was going to set that over there, but I guess it's got to be over there to be on the screen. <laughs> now, the thing that I was going to show you, watch, I can do it this way. I mean, there's a hundred ways to do it, honestly, but <clears throat> the point of this video is this. You have a telephone, and you do not have any noise, so there's no dial tone. And that's, that's including static. It has to be dead. If there's static, it's a different step of troubleshooting. This is straight up part one. So... This will say wall on this side. Nine times out of ten, if you're coming directly out of, de out of a device like a grand stream, you're going to get a short. You notice no lights come on. It's because this doesn't have a battery in it. This pulls power from whatever it's hooked up to. Red light. You can't really see that's red either. I'm going to have to work on my camera setup. Now, coming directly from a device like, let's say, Comcast, Charter, Spectrum, a grand stream modem that I have, or not modem, a gateway that I have, they're going to give you a POTS line. That POTS line will come out crossed. So when you hook it up to a NED or to your 66 block or whatever, you have to account for that. And it doesn't, it does matter for faxes, things like that, but if you're just on a telephone, it doesn't really matter. Um, not for this part, because it's old technology. So you come in from the other side, which is basically uncrossing the wire, and you get a green light. I guess I can see that screen. <clears throat> now, This has dial tone. So wherever you are with this, you have dial tone. Um, let's say it's from a POTS provider. And they're just coming to your house like AT&T or somebody. You can troubleshoot from there. Oh, well, we, we do have dial tone. We have this here. And if you want to check this, just plug a phone in right there. I sadly don't have one with me. That will be in part two or three, or in the future, or custom videos. But this device will tell you, oh, we've got, we've got yes. Now, this does not mean that you have a dial tone that you can call someone on. This just means you're getting voltage in the dial tone type format, meaning you can have dial tone. So if it's a disconnected service, like someone, it's, you didn't pay the bill, you know, and they turned it off on you. Well, then that, that's the answer. It's like, oh, well, it's just, it's, it's there. It's just off. But plug a telephone in. You can hear dial tone and dial 1-800, all fours. The seven fours in a row. Four, 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 four. It's uh, MCI. They tell you the phone number you're calling from. It's really simple phone number. Now, the other side of this is this guy. The reason why I'm using this is, A, this is quicker and toting around a toner with all the extra wires and keeping it together. This tells me where I am, gives me an idea. Never been wrong with that. There will be people that will argue with you, but never been wrong with it. I mean, 20 years. Um, this is not your only tool. That's why you've never been wrong with it. 
just don't guess and you're good. I mean, you're kind of guessing anyway, but don't say, okay, we got Dalton, we're good, and then go home. You're, that's not how it works. So, this, this you're going to plug a phone in, whatever, but we're going to use this in lieu of a wall jack. I don't have one. That's to show you how to use the fluke. This guy. All right. Red it means it's crossed or shorted. Now we're going to reverse the short. Still red. Are they touching? Well, oh, that's on tone. Not that that matters. Um, let me test this right at the source then. Bear with me. I've never used it that way. But, well, before we test it right at the source, we have it unshorted there, and then we'll plug in to red and green. Red and green are tip and ring for um, uh, uh, b -b 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 line one. Black and yellow are tip and ring for line two. I put it on three. Come on. There you go. So, green light. That will show us the same thing. Dial tone. You'll notice the light didn't come on on this guy because I'm not there. But if I... We'll go back off. Okay. All right. Now, what was I saying? Edit the video, please. <laughs> All right. So that shows us, yes, there's dial tone. Now, you don't have this. You have a toner. This is behind the wall plate, or you can plug directly into the wall plate. I'm going to find that. We'll post that video, too. But this is just like that. This is uh, the basic to start to get my footing in what the heck I'm doing. So then you see there's dial tone here. If it's dial tone behind the plate, but you can plug into the plate and can't get dial tone, bad plate. Or bad connection to the plate. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, this is a very instructional video. Thank you for watching. If you've been with me this long, don't forget to subscribe and like. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.